we were going to show you today the proper technique for using the standing disc to transfer a patient. So, the first thing is we need two people to assist with this transfer. So, one person is going to put the gate belt correctly on the patient, low at the waist, and snug. So the first person assisting, the one that is using the standing disc, needs to stay in front of the disc and they have to keep both hands at all times on the disc. The reason for this is once the patient is standing, um, they need to be managing the brake, the handles, and ensuring that this doesn't tip over. The second person is going to be standing next to or behind the patient, assisting them with standing up and making sure that they have their balance and are secure. Right. So, we want to make sure the standing disc is positioned so that it allows for a smooth and close transfer to whatever surface you're going to. So you have to kind of imagine once they're standing and once you get them turned, are they going to be close enough to sit safely in the next chair? And of course, it's always important as we're doing the transfer that you're communicating with the patient what your expectations for them are, as well as communicating with your partner that's performing the transfer. Okay, so the first thing is we want to make sure the patient can get both of their feet positioned on the disc. At this point, the person operating the disc wants to apply the brake. Okay? It's easiest to keep your foot on the brake to make sure that it isn't sliding and that way it keeps you in control. Okay, now we're gonna ask the patient to place their hands right up here. Okay. Once your partner is ready, we're gonna have the patient go ahead and stand up. One, two, three. Once the patient is standing up fully, you can let the brake go. You're gonna slowly turn the disc until they're positioned to sit. At that point, apply the brake again and the patient, you can now sit back in the chair. So the second person doing this transfer is going to be there for safety, ensuring that the patient doesn't lose their balance, and helping them assist to sit down or to stand up as they need to. At that point, when you're done with the transfer, you can assist the patient in lifting up their feet if they need help and sliding the disc out of the way. 